So that's cute, right? Look at this hog of a bottom bouncer. That is a two foot, three ounce, which can be almost, you know, 28 inches if I have to bend that up in really snaggy situations. So this, it's at the extreme end of bottom bouncers. I have these custom made for me. I think the seven, eight, nine, ten bucks a piece. So you don't want to really stock up on these. You want to save these for your Canadian Shield Lakes, for the reefs that people have nicknamed Vegas because they're literally covered with jigs, spinner rigs, weights, and everything else because they are so snaggy. So that's when I employ the big hog bottom bouncers. They do not get stuck. So the one thing to remember when you're fig fishing big bottom bouncers like this, if you're open base and trolling with them, weight-wise, three, four ounces, you don't have to feed those fish line. Just let the rod load, reel them in. They're gonna hook themselves because of all that weight there. When you're rigging these, holding them in your hand, working up a piece of structure with big R styles like this, what I do is when I feel a fish, I just stop, right? I'm not feeding them line. I'm just, instead of, you know, undulating that rod or doing whatever I'm doing with it, I just pause, let that fish chomp, and then start reeling it in. But you don't want to open your bale, feed them line, because when these guys are up and standing tall pulling a spinner, you let line down, they tip over just like a tree. You don't want that happening when you got a fish on the line.